Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dax Xavier Josiah, the host of ACMG Presents Talk Time Live, the podcast. You want to catch up with all of our podcast shows and hear from some of the hottest names in all of anime, comics, movies, and games, such as... This is Miley Flanagan, the voice of Naruto. This is Stephanie Shea, the voice of Sailor Moon. This is Ruben Langdon, the voice of Ken Masters and Dante from Devil May Cry. Hey there, this is Kyle Abair, the voice of Ryu from Street Fighter V. This is Chris Battle, character designer of Teen Titans Go! Here's your chance to check out all of that and more on Talk Time Live. Live.com. TalkTimeLive.com provides all of our ACMG content with new and previous episodes, exclusive interviews, articles, and much more. Visit TalkTimeLive.com and let us help you learn to let go, live life, and love all things ACMG. Talk Time Live. This is Amanda Celine Miller, the voice of Boruto and Sailor Jupiter, and you are listening to ACMG Presents Talk Time Live. It's time for your Talk Time Live exclusive. You are now about to witness the strength of geek knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, on the show with me right now, this is a very special edition of Talk Time Live exclusive. As you know, for the Philadelphia, Delaware, and Jersey area, it's getting closer to the time for the biggest event of the summer for the city of Philadelphia, that is, in the <laughs> Delaware Valley area. And that is Keystone Comic Con. They are back and they are coming with a vengeance. Trust me when I tell you this. I am here with the events director from Repop for Keystone Comic Con, and that is MK Goodwin. Uh, we're going to talk about everything that is going on with this event and much more. MK, good morning. Happy Friday Eve. And how is everything going over there? It's going great. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. We're excited about this year's event. Oh, and as to you, I mean, we got a lot to talk about. You guys. Me too. <laughs> broke some insanely big news, which is why I'm glad we're doing this now. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I'm, I, I couldn't be more humbled with this news because I swore down, like, no, nah, they wouldn't. Have. Somebody mentioned in our, on, on your, uh, on your uh, what was it, the Keystone Comic Con Facebook group and mentioned mm-hmm. this name. And I was like, I would love for this to happen, but I really doubt that this happened. And here yeah. you go smacking me in the face with it, which I am not <laughs> mad at at all. I, this is a great thing to be smacked with. And you guys, mm-hmm. you did it. You you made mm-hmm. my city happy. I'd like to thank you for getting none other than Tom Holland, the amazing Spider-Man here in Philadelphia. Yep. My goodness. <laughs> yeah. No, we are we are so excited um, to be able to have Tom Holland and, and bring him into the city of Philadelphia and all the fans that are so excited to meet him. I can't imagine um, someone, you know, more popular out of the MCU at this point that people are really, really excited to meet. Um, I, I I saw Far From Home a couple weeks ago and it just <laughs> it really affected me. And yeah. uh, my my husband, you know, he asked me often, he's just like, what are you made of stone? Like, I don't have feelings. And this movie made me feel <laughs> so. So um, I am beyond excited that he he's coming out, and I'm really excited that I can actually share that excitement with the thousands of people that are going to come see him too. I tell you what, um, as a legit Spider-Man fan, the the news of this coming out, and I was already excited already just being a part of this and being mm-hmm. you know getting ready to kick off this event with you guys. That news gave me a second tank of of excitement like you wouldn't believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I am whatever nervousness or whatever I had going into this thing, it just completely went away. Just the idea that he's coming and just to be a part of this event. It was just like, oh, this is this is this party is going to be lit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it really is. We're really excited to have him. He's coming to see us on Sunday. And the good thing is, is that, you know, spider Man's such a such a family property as well. And we yes. actually have um, complimentary kids tickets for kids under 12 that are available for Sunday. That so it can awesome. really be um, just a nice day out for the family. Well, not only that, because I saw the setup that what you guys were doing, uh, the panel that I'm going to be working in is going to be Sunday with the Overwatch, uh, Voices of mm-hmm. Overwatch. Um, other panels, the uh, Game of Thrones panel is going to be there. Mm-hmm. It's really big panels. Uh, uh, Nolan North and Troy Baker's panel is going to be there. I mm-hmm. love those guys. And then um, Tom Holland panel is mm-hmm. going to be there. This, honestly, and I've been going to cons in Philadelphia and actually in, in the West Coast, too, for years. And I got to tell you, Sunday has never been celebrated this good for, mm-hmm. for, for, for a comic <laughs> convention. I haven't I've never I have yet to be. Don't get don't hurt me, but I've yet to be in New York <laughs> Comic Con yet. But I have never seen a Sunday where it was this like Sundays are normally the calm after the st- after the storm hits and everything, it's like mm-hmm. the relapse. No, you guys are like hitting us hard. It's just like this is going to be a mm-hmm. big day for panel yeah. goers and everything. So I love the layout that you guys have done with this. 
Yeah, no, it's just, I mean, sometimes things just fall into place the way that they do. And just with uh, Tom Holland's schedule as a, as a currently working actor, you know, yeah. he, he can only join us on Sunday, unfortunately. We'd love to have him for three days, of course. You know what? Um, but we have a great, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you know, honestly, I, I've said this quite a few times in and outside this show, that all you guys needed was one Marvel, uh, you know, Marvel actor, mm-hmm. or actor for that matter, whether it's female or male. And... <laughs> That, it, it doesn't matter. I don't think it really matters. Uh, if, if it's just for one day, it's a great event. I mean, it would be great to have them in three days, but I am. Ex- I can speak for many, not all, but many that I am grateful for having them for one day to yeah. be a part of this event. I mean, it, I trust me because I don't, I know the behind the scenes. It takes a lot to get certain people here and there, and you yep. know, to stick to a schedule and stuff. So, so the fact is, you know, kudos to all of you guys who put that together. Yeah, we really appreciate that. It definitely is a lot of work. Obviously, um, those actors from the MCU are incredibly busy and yes. are highly coveted. And um, we are just very, very thankful that we can finally bring an Avenger to, to Keystone Comic Con. Um, ever just the and the journey that Marvel's taken us on yes. it's through the cinematic universe. It's been years. so epic. Um, <laughs> and just to kind of have him now um, with what's come out recently is just uh, it's just something that we are so happy to offer right can i is it possible to uh ask whether or how long was this in the works for or like is was this a he had an opening you guys went for it you know type of thing how did this go about we always have asks out for our shows for these type of guests yeah. and they are of course incredibly hard to get yeah um but we essentially leave the door open as much as we can because we always want this type of content at our shows. It's something that almost everybody loves on all of our surveys. And every time we ask fans on social media, who do you want to see um, MCU? It's, it's always at the top. It's just something that everyone loves. Everyone relates to everyone gets emotional about, and it's, it's something that we always want to bring. So definitely uh, a long time in the making, um, but completely and utterly worth it. Again, kudos to you guys. um, Listeners, you really don't have any uh, clue unless you work in this type of field as to how much work goes into promotion and, and everything that goes on. It's so, it's fun, but it's hard work. And I say it all the time. You got to work hard to have fun. And these people work mm-hmm. so hard to do what they do. And for them to give us this level, I mean, this is like, if you don't get any bigger than this, it's at RD, uh, RDJ, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> this was huge. And I'm like, thank you all <laughs> for, yeah. for making this happen. So You're very welcome. And the pay, like the payoff for us, obviously, just seeing how many excited people are just out there and how mm. many we're actually going to see face to face over the three days for all of the guests that are yes. coming to Keystone Comic Con. That Absolutely. is really one of the things that makes our jobs and the hard work that we do so worth it. It's just we we my job and my teammates jobs is yeah. basically to make people happy. And that's something that we we love and feel is so special. Absolutely. I mean, just the combined amount of guests that you have, it brings such a value that we've been looking for for quite some time. You know, yeah, we tried city. to hit all the fandoms this year. Um, yeah. I think we did. And I think we did a, a pretty good job. But we've got a ton of Star Trek guests um, yeah. coming in. We've got a Weasley family reunion for any mm-hmm. Harry Potter fans. We've got the twins and uh, Ginny, who is played by Bonnie Wright, coming. Uh, we have the Star Wars Rebels voice cast. Uh, right. We have Christian Narn coming in from Game of Thrones. John Carpenter is coming. Uh, we have Overwatch coming in, Retro Replay. Like, there's, there is a lot coming on. There's... Yeah. There's something for everybody, and we're we're so excited to to offer that to the fans. I feel like when people get to this, and especially if they've never been there last year, mm-hmm. uh, I, I honestly, which I have, of course, as you guys know, I've been here last year. I was able to see what you guys have done, and it, I um, I think they're in for a really great treat and a, a lot. I, I would say it's going to be a great party for a whole for the uh, next three days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> something yeah, that, it's going to so, be so something awesome. Something that Joe Jonas and his wives and and their wives can uh, can can appreciate. <laughs> for multiple <laughs> celebrations but, yeah <laughs> but um as far as last year do you did you work with the team last year as, as well uh so it's interesting i actually was not i i had a very very unique view of the show last year and i mm-hmm. actually think it's something really special so i had um a baby last year oh, uh, in june yep mm-hmm. so i was out of the office on maternity leave while the show was really really coming together in those last few months mm-hmm. so um i and i didn't officially work on the show at that point either i was working on other read pop shows right. um and so but i still worked the event and i came in and the vibe yes. was 
absolutely amazing. The fans of Philadelphia were absolutely amazing. I've never met such awesome, kind, fun people. Like I like sometimes working shows can can be hard and tiring, but I felt energized. I had so much fun with these people, and I I, I just can't wait to do it again this year. Absolutely, and I think that's the thing, and that's that's the ideology of the of that su- of the subculture of of what we love is that mm-hmm. once we're there we're just there to have a great time we're we're there mm-hmm. you know to experience things to meet new people to you know enjoy the festivities and all and it's just i, I guarantee you like I, I see a definite exponential rise of fandom this year when it comes yeah. to that <laughs> as well um now let's talk about you know, we talked about a few things, but what can we really expect this year as far as, you know, the special guests? We talked about that a bit. Um, the panels, let's talk about that for a bit. So I don't mm-hmm. want to go with mine first, but hell, let's go to it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will be hosting, I, thanks to you guys, I will be hosting the Voices of Overwatch with uh, Jennifer Hale, with uh, Charlotte Chung, and a mm-hmm. guy that i actually been waiting to talk to for quite some time, and that's Fred Tatashore who I've mm-hmm. seen in the West Coast for many times during the Marvel panels. Uh, all of them are extremely talented. Uh, what came to the idea of doing this panel exactly? Did it have anything to do with our new uh, stadium that we're going to be creating this year? <laughs> no, we just um, we, we listened to the fans from last year, mm-hmm. and they wanted more Overwatch content, and that's what we wanted to bring them. So it is something that was really great. We we always love it when there's a perfect storm of the fans really want something and we're able to bring it for them. Yeah. Um, and obviously to have a, a great moderator like you to really bring the energy and, and, and bring the noise, and it's, it's, it's going to be really fun. And we think that about all the panels that are going to happen at the show. We're just incredibly excited that people um, can not only come to the show to shop and and you know uh, meet their favorite guests through autographing the photo ops, but you also get to sit and listen to some of your favorite people in the industry talk, and I think that is something that's really awesome. Well, I hope yeah, I could do you guys very much justice on this. One. I think you will. <laughs> <laughs> but also, we have some other ones. I also this is not the only panel I will be uh, hosting. I will also be mm-hmm. hosting the Art of Street Fighter with actually funny mm-hmm. thing to another person that I've seen in the West Coast. I'm surprised that both of these people are coming down to the uh, East Coast, and I'm very happy. Uh, Long Vo and uh, the Chamba, aka Jeffrey Cruz, who mm-hmm. also are from Udon entertainment if you're a gamer you know mm-hmm. these guys these guys are mm-hmm. tremendous artists and have yep. drawn some of the best video games that you've ever played in capcom yeah. so i'm very happy to you know have fun with how did that come about because i mean like that was just, i felt like that was kind of random but that was like happy random no it's actually <laughs> um it was actually very intentional we have a great content creator um people last year loved the gaming zone so we are actually expanding the gaming zone this year we're making awesome. it bigger better tabletop console lots of fan groups coming in there's going to be um, a massive amount of gaming and so we wanted to purposely supplement that with with content like that for the fans that are coming in really give them that full weekend experience of things that they love awesome so here's another thing too because you know i i've like i said i've been at many uh cons throughout different parts of this country you are we still expecting to get the uh the app soon yeah Yep. Yep. Uh-oh. The app's coming out very, very soon. We just want, we're just uh, dotting our eyes and crossing our T's on it. But it's one of the most important things, I think. It really is. Um, that you can have to plan your event. And, and planning your event is definitely the number one thing that you want to do to make sure that you're maximizing your time at the show because there is so much going on. Yeah. Um, you want to make sure you're prepared to be where you want to be when you want to be there. And I love about this, what you guys have done, you know, the the tic- the badges, the mm-hmm. the apps. It really feels like New York Comic Con slash mm-hmm. SDCC level. Mm-hmm. And I, I remember when I talked to Brian Stephenson last year about this, he, he said that the idea that he wanted to come up with was, in fact, to make it as big as New York Comic Con as much as possible. I think a lot of that has to also be has not only just the hard work with you guys, but also us supporting you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a two-way streak, in my opinion. So, <laughs> you know, where do you guys actually? Is that still a thing that a, a uh, objective that you guys are looking to do in the next, you know, three, uh, four years, five years that you guys are contracted with us? Yeah, no, we're definitely looking to do more things with the badges. Um, we we really look. We, we try to keep on the edge of technology, 
when it comes to um, making the experience as simple and painless as it can be yeah. for the fans because they're there to have fun. They're not yeah. there to kind of fiddle around the technology or anything like that. Yeah. Anything that we can do to make the experience better for the fan, we're all over it. Um, it's definitely always part of our plans. Yeah. And, yeah, it's definitely something that's still on the table. I, t- I tell you this. like Again, from last year's – from my experience and perspective from last year and the response that everybody had afterwards – all of mm-hmm. the the the, origi- the originals, I guess you could call us, uh, of the event. None of us <laughs> had any problem. We had a great time. It was fluid. I mean, nothing's perfect at all. Mm-hmm. You know, no, that's just impossible. And I challenge anybody who would say otherwise to work and do what you guys are doing to see if you can do any mm-hmm. better in this case. But with that said, I, we came out of there like. I had a great time. This felt like something new to something like very fresh that we needed. And it looks like you guys are looking to supersede what you've done last year. And I think it's mm. actually coming into fruition. So I'm, yeah. I'm very much looking forward to it. As far as events, as far as people, in your opinion, for you, put on your fan hat, who are you most looking forward to or what event are you most looking forward to? Oh, you mean besides Tom Holland? Or like... <laughs> yeah, besides the obvious, of course. I, I, it's kind of a stupid question, but I would have to – let's exclude the obvious part of that. <laughs> Um, I'm a huge Potterhead. I love Game of Thrones, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna be uh, creeping on those panels a little bit if my schedule allows. Yeah. Um, but some of my favorite things to do are actually to watch the families at the show yeah. and see the parents and caretakers passing on what they love to their children and experience it with their children. Right. Um, we have a family area at the show where where it's just it's a really nice place for kids to come and play and be themselves and just to watch the families experience that all together is something that I just find really special. Awesome. Uh, Now, as far as, again, don't don't kill me. I haven't been to New York Comic Con. I'm going to have to keep giving that disclaimer as I say that. (laughs) But, and I, and I, hopefully, I, I, the idea is that I am going to plan to go to New York Comic Con pending that I, they don't run out of pages because I heard they already went on. So me and my wife are going to have to plan, but that was our idea to make that as well. (laughs) But, um, I noticed because I travel to the West Coast, they do have festivities around the city as well. Is there any plans to have other like restaurants, companies or whatever in uh, correlation with you guys to work? And I know because down, downtown is still in the works of rebuilding itself. So I don't know how far you guys have even thought about that. But is that something mm-hmm. that has been uh, uh, under discussion? Yeah, no, of course. We're always looking to engage partners outside the convention center to give our attendees more benefits when they come to the show. The yeah. fans really love the show, but they also like going out to hang out at night and having parties to to go to and things to do and see. Yeah. So there's a lot of um there's a lot of um restaurants in the area or just places for people to go and have a good time, yeah. um like arcades or bowling alleys that we are looking to partner with those and some of them we have and you can kind of find a list of um places on our website where you can you know there are things offered outside of the convention center as well and i'm I, as you guys grow i'm hoping to see that grow as well because i want to mm-hmm. see the city shut down every year you guys come to town yes <laughs> I, I, I mean i wanted to be like that big uh, you know cross our fingers it could happen uh, mm-hmm. man if we keep this if you guys keep this momentum up this is going to be uh people are going to love you <laughs> yeah we're doing our <laughs> they best. already do right now after that uh after that, everything that you guys provided so far awesome but I absolutely enjoy it. Uh, is there anything else that we are should be expecting in your uh, that you haven't uh, come up with, or are we expecting any more guests or any time? Um, we're always we always have the door open for guests. Um, we tell people that up until the show, you never know what might happen. So mm-hmm. just keep your eyes peeled. Um, you know, subscribe to our newsletter, and you'll yeah. get you'll be the ones that get the news first. Absolutely. Um, in terms of what we have going on um, at the show this year, the wrestling arena is coming yes. back. Um, we House are of hardcore. yes. Yep. Uh, we have our Family HQ. Uh, we have our all of our awesome main stage content. Uh, we actually have a Star Wars fan experience this year um, with, with props and cosplay from Star Wars. And that's going to be something that's really fun as well that we know right. um, that we know everyone's going to be interested in. So we just think it's going to be a really good time, a really fun weekend, and just it, with really fun people. The cosplay competition, is that coming back as well? Yeah, we're going to have the cosplay competition again on Saturday night. And it's just a really nice celebration and showcase of that community and what they have to offer the amount of work and time yes. um, that they put into these outfits months and months sometimes it's just absolutely incredible and it's right. it's really one of our can't miss events do we know the judges this year for that uh, for that competition 
Uh, we haven't announced them yet, but they will be on our website soon. Gotcha. That's awesome. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I didn't, that's the one panel I think I didn't make. I don't know if it was because it was during the time. Because I, I was at the press uh, interview with um, Kevin Conroy last year. Okay. And I was, I know something was going on in between it, but I was like, I can't miss this. So. Oh yeah. I'm like, well, if you're going to go talk to like Batman, I'm like, yeah, come on. yeah, no way, <laughs> no way in the world. And, and again, thank you guys for that one. That was just on Batman day. That, you couldn't have been a more uh, yep. awesome of an opportunity right there. So yeah, um, it's priorities. It's actually like an old, you know, just a comic con conundrum. There's so much awesome stuff going on. You got to pick and choose. Yeah. Well, it, that's, that's when you know when you're an epic event because you, there's so much going on at the same time and mm-hmm. you do need to schedule accordingly and only mm-hmm. the major cons can really do that. So I do consider this getting at or at that level at this point because i mean with the fact that you need an app to do it the fact that you just just you got to run around you're going to burn calories people so yep. eat what you want you're going to burn calories anyway. <laughs> <I guarantee laughs> have some it. convention center pizza <laughs> there you go uh reading terminal is going to love you guys by the way as well yep. <laughs> definitely so uh i believe that is it is there anything else that we need to know or is you know cover it other than just come uh, yeah, just come in August how 23rd. excited we are that to just come and celebrate with everybody. Like it, part of, I think, um, the appeal of the cons is that you can just you can not only meet and see some of your favorite celebrities and comic book creators and all that stuff, but it's just meeting people like yourselves that love the same thing you do. And just the excitement that ensues when you find other people like this. And I get to do that multiple times a year. And I'm going to do that in a few weeks in Philly. And the team and I are just so excited to be there and so happy for the opportunity. Well, MK, I really thank you so much for taking the time to be on this show. And not only just thank you, thank Betty, thank Edwin, thank uh, Steph and everybody else is working their tails off to put this together. Cause I've done events planning before. It's, it could be done. (laughs) <laughs> doesn't say it could be done easy said it's really good they were like it's actually a marathon and a sprint yes so. it is. yes it is so i am looking forward to it thank you so very much for being a part of the show and for, you're uh, welcome and filling so us happy in to on, be here not a problem and filling us in on all this uh folks august 23rd to the 25th at the pennsylvania convention center repop returns with keystone comic con i am looking forward to being a part of this event to hosting the voices of overwatch to hosting the art of street fighter and of course to see tom holland in the panel as well i hope i don't um, run into that panel but (laughs) (laughs) please don't set up my panel for that panel but (laughs) be there for all of it if you're a fan of all things anime comics movies and games this is philly's mecca of that. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you so very much again. On behalf of myself and MK Goen, all I gotta say is learn to let go, live life, and love all things anime, comics, movies, and games. This is ACMG Presents Talk Time Live. We are out of here. See you on August 23rd to the 25th at Keystone Comic Con. Take care. This episode of ACMG Presents Talk Time Live is brought to you in part by Viewfinders Identity Search and Design. Your choice for web design, graphic design, and all multimedia development needs. Visit VFISAD.com and let us bring your vision to reality.